All right, so I've got a little project today. As you can see, this is my temporary pump cover, keep my neighbor from looking at my mess type thing. Uh, I had to do some work on the pool pump. I had to replace the sand filter. Went and did a cartridge filter, easier to maintain. So I did that, I replumbed everything and made it a little bit more tidy than what it was. So what I gotta do is I'm gonna replace this. I'm gonna build like a little, sort of like a lean-to type that goes up against the house. So I've done all my measurements. I've got 80 inches across the front. I'm gonna go about 42 inches out from the wall. I'm gonna do 40 high in the back and then 42 in the front. So basically I'm just gonna make a little slope. So I'm gonna go in there and draw it up real quick. We'll get some lumber, we'll try to frame it and see how this works. All right, so what I did is I made some drawings here. I just did some uh, rough sketches, kind of what I wanted. Then I transferred it over to some graph paper to get a little bit more of a, a better looking plan. So basically this is what my overview is going to be. That's what my front's going to be, 79 inches wide, 42 inches deep. Um, that way I could see in my head what I wanted to do with it. I'm going to lattice the front of it. I'm either going to apply wood or lattice the sides, I'm not sure. And then I'm going to apply wood or shingle the top again, not sure. So there's my slope angle. I'm going to do a 10 degree slope. There's my measurements, how far apart everything should be. And again, my front's the easiest part. And again, same thing, I'm going to slope my front studs here at a 10 degree angle. So here's all my basic cuts laid out. Um, my side, I got my three bars for the side, two in the middle, one in the back. My seven pieces for the front, five studs across the front, uh, two extras going around the corner. Same on the side over here. Once I get these um, screwed in, what I'll do is I'll cut my angles for my two by four going this way, my two by four going that way. Then I'll do my two by four across the front to tie it all together. And then what I'm gonna do after that is I'm gonna take a two by four measure from inside to inside and put at least one support in the middle and one support around, along the back just to hold the roofing up so it doesn't sag on me. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got my front post and my back post. This is gonna be my back post on my left, front post on my right. I'm just gonna put one screw in the bottom on each side of this temporarily. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out my slope. So I'm gonna decide, I've cut these a little bit longer than I needed. Uh, that way I can cut them off to length so they're all even when I get done. Um, but I've got them pretty close to where I want them at. I should be able to just take my angle off the top and put my roofing on. But I'm not sure about the angle at the top because again, I've never done this before. It may be too steep after I've set it up there. So I may end up chopping this 48 down to Maybe even a 46. I think my slope may be too great. But either way, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a screw in here, screw in here. I've got 39 inches from inside to inside. I'm gonna go up to the top and measure 39 to 39 once I get it screwed in. I'm gonna take a longer board and I'm gonna just gonna lay it at an angle and mark my slope. All right, again, I apologize for the background noise. Not much I can do about it. But what I've done is I've taken my longer other 48 inch post, which is pretty straight, and I've put the corner so it's lined up to the edge of this one and the edge of this one. So I'm on the inside edge on one side, the outside edge on the other. And I'm gonna take my pencil, I'm gonna mark the inside edge. And like the inside edge, get the side closer to the bottom. Now by doing that, that will give me my slope angle so I can cut all these boards. So when I go to put the uh, two by four is gonna sit like this on top of it. I can get my camera in the right position. So when I cut this off here at this angle, my two by four sit like this and then my roofing material can sit right on my two by four flat. So after I got my mark done, I took a piece of scrap wood. I went ahead and figured my angle, which was about 10 degrees. I cut a small piece of scrap wood and I'm just lining it up. So I'm gonna cut all my angles at 10 degree angles. So again, I've got the rough length for my posts. They're just a hair longer what they need to be. That gives me enough room to cut off an inch or so at the top, inch and a half at the top. Um, so I can cut all my angles off. And then once I get my angles cut for all my boards, I will remeasure them and make sure they're all the same height and nip them off accordingly. And I'm not building a house here. I'm not building a shed. I'm not building a structure. This is just a box to go over top of a pool pump. So if you want to be more precise, you can get a little more precise than this. This is just kind of a quick throw it together without a whole lot of thinking project. So what I want is I want 41 inches on this left board or the taller board and I want 35 inches on the smaller board. That allows the uh, 2x4 at the top and the bottom to increase my height by 3 inches. 
So I'm gonna put my bottom board on first, just on the out two sides. I'm gonna attach my top rail to the out two sides so I know that the lengths are even on the inside. Then I'm gonna measure the inside dimensions and cut these bottom parts off since I've already got my angle to the height I need so I've got a nice steady rail going down. All right, so there's my one side done. Basically, um, I took the same angle that I cut the top rail with, which was a 10 degree. I back cut the top. So um, basically it's flat on that side. I left it overhanging on the front. Um, I've got some pavers at the bottom. I want this to stick out over my pavers a little bit so the water runs out into the grass and not down onto the pavers. Um, so I'm not gonna cut that yet. I might cut it in half just to you know, keep it from getting caught on something while I'm moving it around. But anyhow, there's one side done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Once I get the other side put together, I'll work on the front. So the way that I filmed this, I'm not sure if I'll be able to edit it in properly. So you may hear me repeat a couple things or I may say something later in the video here that I didn't say earlier because I had to make a couple modifications. Basically, this is my framework. I'm probably gonna put lattice on the side. I just had some extra lattice laying around. I'll lattice the side and lattice the front to keep the uh, temperature down from the pump. I'm gonna put plywood on the top and I'll probably shingle the top. I've still gotta level my pavers. That's why I'm down a little bit on one side, not the other. Um, I've gotta pull the pavers. Um, Clean all the grass out from under them, level them out. Uh, but once I get it up on there, I think it'll be pretty good. The one thing I did add that's not on my drawings, I put a cleat on both sides and added a couple support beams. One for just stability on the back side, and the other to support the weight of the wood. We don't get snow or anything like that around here, so I don't really need a whole lot of load bearing support. I just need the roof from sagging in the middle, and that should do it. I did this on the garage floor, so I had a nice flat surface so when I came out here. Again, my pavers are off-center, but at least I know I'm level. Um, when I came outside, of course, my pile of holes were already drilled, so I just ran longer screws into it and made sure it was tighter. So I decided to go with a um, lattice on the front and sides both. So I ran over loads. I got a piece of plywood for the top. I got the end caps for the lattice. I'm going to cut four of those at 36 inches for my front and my front left side, front right side and then two 42 inch strips for the back. Then I'll cut the lattice down the size and fit it into place. I'll put the plywood on the top last because I'm thinking I'm gonna overhang my plywood maybe one inch on each side of it. I still haven't figured out how I'm gonna to top it yet. I don't know if I'm just going to um, um, cover with shingles. I don't know if I wanna put that much weight on top of it. I don't think I need it. Um, I've also got a couple other ideas. I was looking at the plastic uh, coating. I don't like the fact the seam and I'm trying to cut it. Plus it all looks like it's warped and bent at Lowe's. Also I thought about shooting some flex seal on to see if that did the job or if it looked like crap or not because I can always cover it. I think I'm in compared to what I had. Um, I need to, um, I'll pull the lattice back out. That lattice has just got one screw holding it from falling to the ground. I'll paint my two by fours white. Um, that way it all looks like it matches. And then like I said, I've still got to pull it back out of there I got a couple low spots on my pavers. I'm gonna have to raise the pavers up a little bit just to make it match. All right, so my edges are cut off now. Uh, I'm quite happy with what I've got. Again, I've got to put a top on it or a roof on it. I'm gonna pull the, um, these are just slipped into these grooves here so I can pull these out. I've got one screw in the top of each one. I'm just to keep them from falling out of place. I gotta trim them up a little bit again uh, with my back. It'll probably be a few weeks before I actually trim it up and make it look good. The top, I'm going to put it um, pretty flexible in here, but it's solid enough. I could actually shingle it if you wanted to, so you could shingle your top. Um, again, this is just covering my pump equipment. It's not really going to be too bad, I don't think. So there's my almost finished project. Um, I've got a couple things I've got to do yet. My lattice is turned inside out, just in case you were wondering about the overspray on it. I've got to take off the lattice and paint my two by fours underneath it there so they don't look as bad uh, i just coated the top with like some flex seal for now i might shingle it i'm not sure yet i don't know if i need the extra weight on it so besides painting the underlayment it's not bad these just fit right in the groove so i can pull these i've got a screw at the top in the middle so i just pull those out when i'm ready take that off and paint my inside uh, the weather got kind of crappy on me today as you can see where i got rain on the top of it so i didn't really have time to paint it uh, and finish the way I wanted, but I did get it in place to where it's actually covering the pump and doing its job. Hope you liked the video. Uh, please click like and subscribe. Sorry for all the extra noise during the uh, cutting and stuff. Everywhere I've been, I've got a pump running here, an air conditioner running there. 
an air conditioner on the inside. Everywhere I went to do this video seemed to be noisy. So hopefully you get through it. Hopefully it helps you out and gives you some decisions and uh, some choices to make on your own.